24-year-old Angelo Anderson has been spending the last week and a half chasing down tennis balls at the U.S. Open. What is this experience like for you? I'm actually still nervous. Which on one hand makes sense, since it's his first year in this high-pressure job where a stadium full of eyes will see any mistake. But after what he's been through, it's hard to believe this could make him nervous. This here is the entrance wound for the bullet that shattered my humerus. It actually kind of ricocheted up. On July 2nd, 2010, this Navy medic was patrolling a village in Afghanistan with a Marine unit he'd been assigned to. Once I actually walked in between the two houses, gunfire actually rang out, and that was the gunfire that actually hit me. You remember hearing this? Yes, all of it very vividly. One round ripped through his right arm. Another shattered his right leg. You've got a nice souvenir there of your time in Afghanistan. Definitely. But my favorite, though, is actually my doctor's signature that did the surgeries on my arm and my leg. How do we get from you taking two rounds in Afghanistan mm -hmm. to being a ball boy at the U.S. Open? <laughs> it, was, it was quite a journey. It's, it's still actually a process and a journey that I've said to, I take every day. After multiple surgeries and hundreds of hours of physical therapy, this Purple Heart recipient was participating in the Warrior Games, a competition for wounded service members, when a scout suggested he try out for a ball boy spot the U.S. Open holds for members of the military. Did you know anything about tennis? Uh, I knew that love meant zero and to never love a tennis player because of that fact. So, I mean, that's all I knew. <laughs> what is your presence at the Open communicating to other wounded warriors? My purpose here is solely to speak to the heart and the mind and the body of those that think that they can't do because of what happened to them. Sounds to me like you're on a mission of inspiration. I am. As much fun as he's been having, Navy Corpsman Angelo Anderson is looking forward to what comes after even more when he heads back to Camp Lejeune to train other medics. Tennis is great, he says, but he's got a job to do. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.